I'm Sarah Starr and this is your space weather forecast for the day. Big energy is pushing in. Yesterday we were experiencing the cosmic crossway. Intense situations, major breakthroughs, unforeseen and dramatic shifts. This was a monumental shift yesterday and we need some time to recollect ourselves. We need time to adjust to the new energy because with this it brings significant transformation. It brings endings. It's a completion of a major cycle. This is literally entering a new chapter in a completely different book. So that was yesterday. What's today? Well, today you get to see things from a new angle. Today you get to explore your emotions and your thoughts. We also have the moon in Gemini today and it is processing a lot of different options very quickly. So pay attention of how your body is responding to these thoughts. You're likely to see bits of new information coming to the surface and what you have to do to work through that. You're gonna see the bigger picture with a way better understanding. Now let's talk about the energy of the sun and what it's doing for you. So we have 10 sunspot regions on our sun today. We are going to look at this one and this one only, 3559. We have a 10% chance of having an X-class flare from here. Now there was a lot of spot development and a lot of growth in this region. And yesterday, the largest flare of the day came from this region. It was a C6.3. It also released a CME, although the model analysis is ongoing for that. This is that C6.3. It emitted a partial halo CME. And like I said, the data is still being analyzed right now, but the bulk of it was around 500 kilometers per second. So if we do have an effect of this, it's going to be slower velocity, not anything high. Although we had another one, another filament eruption. Now the modeling of this one suggests that it's going to hit us and arrive between the 22nd and the 23rd. Now this one, the velocity was still not super high, around 700 kilometers per second was the major bulk of it. So we'll see a rise in our solar winds around the 22nd and the 23rd. Although with the solar winds right now, we're around 400 kilometers per second. So we're at a KP2 level and we're expected to hit at least KP3 today. Density is almost non-existent. So when we do get that CME arrival, it'll be pretty prominent of when we get that rush of energy. But like I said, we are going to see a rise in our solar winds with those two other CMEs. We're going to see a pickup in the solar winds today because we have a, po a positive polarity that is passing right now. So that's why it's going to go up to a three. But we have another CME that I just showed you and we are going to go up into geostorm level. Minor to moderate though. So this is what we are expected to see today. This is going to push us into those KP3 levels. Not a lot of velocity, but it is going to die down uh, within the next couple of days um, for this CME. But like I said, we have multiple coming right now. And this is a look at the CME that is going to hit us today. Now this happened around the 20th and it's only a weak enhancement, so not too much. However, we have a lot of planetary alignments that play into this as well. So it's a lot of energy, even though solar weather is low, but we have lots of regions to look at, actually one main region. And that main region is 3559 and it is lighting up. It was lighting up yesterday, it is lighting up today. And like I said, 3559 gained a lot of spot development and a lot of growth overall. We're at 220 in its size. It has 22 sunspots now still in beta range. It has not changed the complexity, but we do have a 90% chance of having C-class flares. Obviously we've had a ton, 40% chance for those M-class flares. So we do have a high chance of having a minor to moderate R12, R2 radio blackout and 10% for an X-class flare and 5% for proton levels. So if proton levels go up, we can slip into those solar radiation levels pretty quickly. But we have a lot of configurations right now, and that's why we have a higher percent chance of having these X-class flares, especially over here, not too many buffers, and it is coming earth facing this region so if it doesn't go off today or tomorrow or the next day when it literally is earth facing i mean we have a a very large chance of this one going off especially if it comes together if it is spreading apart not so much 
Now this is region 3559 that I just showed you. So this is where it is. We have a couple more days till it is earth facing. So if it does go off over here, we can have some earth directed components depending, but we also have a coronal hole that is forming right over it. So yet again, in the next coming of days, if this doesn't dissipate and this doesn't grow apart, we could have a big storm. And then our geomagnetic storm levels will rise. Solar winds will rise, solar radiation will rise, radio blackouts will rise, and we'll have a communication issues, guys. So we're going to hit yet again these G2 geomagnetic levels around 22nd and 23rd. These are stronger enhancements than what we're gonna have today. Today's a very weak enhancement, obviously. We're not getting anything, but tomorrow, we'll look out for more energy. In our Schumann, we are still integrating way too much energy right now. We have a beautiful little baby rainbow blast going on, but the frequency is high even though this is low. But check out the frequency. We've been high for a couple of days if you haven't noticed. So your body is not really loving the energy. It's gonna hurt. You have a lot of issues, a lot of anxiety, especially when the frequencies are up like this for a couple of days. It takes a while to accumulate to the pressures that are coming in, new frequency, because your body freaks out. It doesn't understand what's going on. So it goes into these survival modes, especially in those energy points that have trauma. So wherever you're experiencing these symptoms, mainly is that chakra that is blocked, it is overactive, it is underactive, it needs balance. So are you feeling these energies? Let's talk about yesterday. Did you notice a massive change, a massive change in energy? I mean, I am not going through the best of times at all, like at all, probably the worst times that I've ever been through. So I understand this conjunction that we just had. Like I said, this brings endings and transformations and completions of major cycle. It doesn't mean that it's not gonna go wonderful in the future. It just means right now there needs to be a change. But don't worry because sudden positive changes are going to start happening. There are miracles that are on their way for you. It's a terrible thing, but it's a great thing. Not super fun if you're going through it. The key is to stay positive, to stay focused, to not get intertwined in things that you probably should. Keep up with your self-care. And it might be a good thing to slip into a meditation because there's a lot going on especially with the planetary alignments, like I said. It's literally no joke. This is just how it rolls. Love ya.